Remember when Black China's friend got into that car accident a while back and you know, she was in Black China's car and well, if you never heard about it, you're gonna know about it now. So TMZ posted a story titled, this is on August 23rd of 2016, excuse me for being a little late. <laughs> it's titled, Black China sued your friend, your car, your problem. And they posted a really bad selfie of Black China. Damn, what the fuck? At least I posted like one of her best I mean, her hair hat looks crazy in this picture, but her face is on pretty. I mean, shit, they posted a really shitty, like, if you visit their, well, like, I posted a link to the story on my blog. Like, I shit you not, like, the picture that they used of her is, like, really bad. And I'm not trying to, you know, shade her or whatever. Like, I'm just being real here. Like, that's a really bad picture. If anybody saw it and you saw how her lips looked and how her wig looked and everything and her makeup, like, everything about it is fucking horrible. If you actually go and see it, come back and leave a comment about how she looked in the picture. Don't just say, yeah, I agree, because nobody's gonna know what the fuck you agreed about. If I make a video that's five minutes long with all sorts of different opinions and stuff, and you say, well, yeah, I agree, what part do you agree with? So yeah, if you think she looks bad, say, yeah, she looked tore up in that picture. Yeah, she looked like shit in that picture. However you wanna say it in your words, but that's a really bad picture. No shade, but her lips, oh. Her lips looking like she got a STDD, you know, a sexually transmitted dick disease in her mouth. It's, it's just really terrible. I mean, it's a really bad picture. She, she looks like a diseased doll, like a melted plastic doll. She just looks like shit in that picture. They called her at the worst fucking moment. Team Z is wrong as hell for posting that picture. You should have posted the one that I used. Stop ruining her image. I mean, she already had that picture floating around that Amber Rose posted where she had her lips poked down her neck all scrunched up. That was a, if anybody didn't see that picture, just let me know in the comment section. You don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, just say, where's the picture that Amber Rose posted of Black China? Don't just say, where's the picture? Because I won't know what the fuck you're talking about. Be specific. Say, where's the picture that Amber Rose posted of Black China? And I'll post it in the comment section. And if anybody sees anybody asking about it, just copy it and, and repost it to them so they can see this crazy shit. But yeah, Ambrose is dead wrong for posting that picture up on Instagram. But anyways, back to the story. This, <laughs> oh, I ran with forward two minutes about nothing, about an ugly pic. Anyways, Black China sued your friend, your car, your problem. TMZ writes, Black China sent a woman to the hospital, at least according to a woman who has now filed suit against the future Mrs. Kardashian. I think it's a bad idea if her and Rob get married because you know it's not going to end well. TMZ broke the story. China's friend Paige Addison was tooling around in China's BMW back in November when she blew a stop sign and slammed it to an SUV and injured two people inside. The lawsuit claims China should have known Paige was a bad driver and should never have let her take the wheel. Paige was charged with felony hit and run. The people in the SUV want medical expenses, lost wages, and other damages. We've reached out to China. So far, no word back. You know what? China shouldn't say shit. They're basically coming after her because she's the one with the shmoney. Now, I'm not a black China cracked vagina fan or a fan of Rob Kardashian or excuse me, Rob Kardashian. But if somebody does or says something wrong to them, I'm going to call the other people out on it. They're calling out black China trying to get to her wallet, to her purse, to her pockets because they're like, wait a second, this page chick doesn't have a pot to piss in. No offense, I'm just saying, compared to Black China. They're like, she doesn't have money like China. So let me go dig for gold in her fucking pockets. I mean, this is trifling as hell. I think that those people shouldn't get shit because they're trying to sue somebody that has nothing to do with it. She was not the person behind the wheel. She was not in the car. She was nowhere near in sight. She might not even have been in the same freaking town when the, when the damn accident happened. So how the hell could she get sued for something she has absolutely nothing to do with? What if somebody stole a car? Should she get in trouble then? I know what they said, you know, in the article that she should have known that her friend was a crappy driver. Okay, so who else should have known? Should the police have known by now? How many accidents, accidents was she in beforehand? Should the police have known? Should the DMV have known? I'm just asking. This is really crazy. They're just trying to go after her because they know that she has enough money to be gone after. But anyway, this is all my opinion. What the hell do I know? I'm just an asshole with a microphone. Let me know what you think about it all below. Do you think that Paige should be sued? Do you think that Black China should be sued? Do you think that nobody should be sued? I think at this point the lawsuit should be dropped. I think that the judge should dismiss it because they went after the wrong person. Obviously to get themselves a nice little payday. Just my opinion. I may be wrong and for legal reasons I'm going to say it just like this. It's all my opinion. All opinion. Just what I personally think. <laughs> anyway, since I'm not trying to have them try to come after me next. You know, because I am rich. I do have $14. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. 
Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more and follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.